With its quaint towns and pastoral landscapes, Loudoun County, Virginia offers a breath of fresh air. But no visit to Loudoun is complete without experiencing the beauty of the equestrian heritage. And there's no better time or place to do that than during Morven Park's annual fall horse trials, held on the first weekend of each October. Situated along the northern edge of historic Leesburg, Morven Park offers a full weekend of equestrian excitement, featuring Olympic-level riders, plus tours of its plantation-era mansion, hiking trails, a carriage museum, and scenic views, all just 35 miles from D.C. Morven Park's horse trials hosts up to 400 horses and riders who compete in three different disciplines, dressage, show jumping, and cross country. For the spectator, there's no better opportunity to experience the best of equestrian sports all at one event. And this family-friendly event is completely free. If the closest you've come to watching equestrian sports is from your living room couch, we encourage you to get outside and experience this event up close. The horse trials are part of a sport called eventing, which began more than a century ago among mounted cavalry officers as a way to demonstrate their horse's strengths and their own riding skills. Competition is divided into a number of skill levels, from beginner novice all the way to advanced. But one of the most remarkable things about the sport is that men and women, young and old, compete equally against one another. Eventing in a, is a sport that is uh, it's like a triathlon. It's three different disciplines. And the interesting thing about this sport more than any other is that you have to be a master of several different things, not just a master of one. I find it similar to the ice skating where you have your technical score and you have to do, that's what we call a dressage phase. And there's certain movements that you have to do and you're judged on your accuracy, your elegance, uh, the communication between your horse and rider. The simplest way to explain dressage is that it's a little like the compulsory part of ice skating. Riders take their horses through memorized movements in an enclosed arena. The horse appears to perform the test movements on its own accord, working in harmony with its rider. At times, horses will almost appear to be skipping or even floating on air. Competitors will next move to the show jumping arena. The number and height of the jumps varies depending on the level of competition. Most tests include between 12 and 15 jumping efforts, with rails that can be easily knocked down. Riders are judged by a combination of speed and number of faults. Horses may touch a rail without penalty, but if the rail drops or if the horse refuses to jump, penalties are assessed. Depending on the level of competition, riders may be eliminated for two or more refusals, and additionally, a fall causes immediate elimination. The biggest part of it is what's behind us, one of these cross-country fences, which is uh, when you're coming out here at 25 miles an hour and uh, you get a real feeling of, you know, action and speed. And the nice thing about coming out and see it is that you can get up close to it. You can stand right next to that. Water jumps are particularly fun to watch. And if you position yourself well, you should be able to see a water jump as well as two, three, or even more obstacles, all from the same viewing area. Competitors do not earn points for style in cross country, but are penalized for any refusal the horse makes when approaching a jump, and are penalized if they run the course too fast or too slow. If a rider falls, he or she is out of the competition automatically. It's safest to enter the cross country course at the beginning of the competition or during breaks between different levels of competition. There are jump judges and stewards throughout the course, and they'll gladly direct you to the safest spots for ideal viewing. So this piece of ground has got a tremendous amount of history, not only for our sport, I know I've been competing here for 30 years, but also, you know, the history of here in Northern Virginia. I would strongly recommend being able to take your family out to the countryside, enjoy a day in this beautiful place, and breathing fresh air and watching horses and riders competing and it, it, it's an incredible experience to offer your children and just to be able to unwind and relax. We love to compete here and we know that everybody that comes here and joins as a spectator loves to be here and see it in this setting.